Ramanujan for G is now available on the Google Play Store. Try it out for free. Yeah, so uh, morning everyone. Today uh, we are starting the new uh, chapter which is application. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, which is the okay. So which is application of derivatives. Okay. So in this, uh, we are going to learn first uh, maxima and the minima. Then we will move to the uh, monotonicity. Then we will move to the uh, tangent and normal. Okay. So these are the three topic which uh, we gonna cover in this chapter. Okay. So like the first, we will start with the, which is maxima and minima, maxima and minima, right? So first, what is the maximum? Okay. So we have to understand this. So like uh, let fx be a function, okay, with the domain like r, so then fx is said to attain the maximum value at a point a belongs to d like if we can say if we talk about maximum so the function should attain fx is less than f of a for all x belongs to d right in such case like a is called the point of maximum and the fa is known as the maximum value or the greatest value or the absolute maximum right so if we take example like fx is equals to a uh, minus x minus 1 square plus 10 for all x belongs to r right so we can say like uh, minus of x minus 1 whole square is less than equals to 0 for all, uh, all x belongs to r so minus x minus 1 square plus 10 is less than equals to 10 so fx is less than equals to 10 for all x belongs to r so it means 10 is the maximum value of fx, right? We can say 10 is maximum value of fx. So to attend this uh, value at x equals to 1, at uh, x equals to 1. So x equals to 1 is the point of maximum of or the point of absolute maximum. It is the point of maximum. Okay.
okay so now uh, we will uh, move to the uh, minimum what is minimum function okay so like minimum so let fx be a function with domain uh, r then fx is said to attain a minimum value at a point d it means so fx is greater than f of a greater than equals to f of a for all x belongs to d so in such case the point is the point a is called the point of minimum and f is known as the minimum value or the least value or the absolute value of fx okay so like uh, if we consider one example if we consider one example so fx is equals to fx is equals to 3x minus whole square plus 5 so it means 3x minus 1 whole square is greater than equals to 0 so 3x minus 1 whole square plus 5 is greater than equals to 5 for all x belongs to r so it means 5 is the minimum value 5 is the minimum value or the least value or the absolute minimum value fx in its domain right so we can say like clearly uh, fx attains this value at x equals to 1 by 3 so x equals to 1 by 3 is the point of minimum or the point of absolute minimum okay so now uh, we will take uh, two example based on this so you can get it more clear so like the first question of first example we have to find find maximum and minimum values if any one of following okay so like function is fx is equals to sine of sin x okay so now we will solve this so like a uh, function we have which is fx is equals to sin x and x belongs to r so we can say minus one less than sin x which is less than equals to one for all x belongs to r so hence sine minus one is less than sine of sine x which is less than sine of one right because sine is an increasing function from minus one to one right so it will become minus sine one is less than equals to fx is less than equals to sine one so this shows that the maximum value of fx maximum value of fx is sine one and minimum value of fx is minus sine one Okay.
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट इज लाइक फाइंड मैक्सिमम एंड मिनिमम वैल्यूज ओके सो द फंक्शन इज एफ एक्स इज इक्व टू थ्री एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस सिक्स एक्स प्लस एट एंड एक्स बिलोंग्स टू आर ओके so here what we will do like the function is 3x square plus 6x plus 8 which is given so we will write 3 x square plus 2x plus 1 plus 5 which is 3 of x plus 1 whole square plus 5 so it becomes 3 x plus 1 whole square Greater than equals to zero, so three of x plus one square plus five is greater than equals to five. So we can say f x is greater than equals to five for all x belongs to R plus. So it means five is minimum value of f x which attains at x equals to minus one. Okay, so we can say f x can be made as large as. Okay, so therefore here maximum value doesn't exist. Okay. so copy this this is a good question okay so next uh, we will be talking about local maximas and local minimas okay which is local maxima and minima so like uh, we have talked about the greatest maximum and the least minimum values of function in its domain but uh, there may be points in domain of a function but the point uh, doesn't attain the greatest or the least values but the values at these points are greatest than or less than the values of function at the neighboring points right so such points are called the points of local minimum or the local maximum and uh, we will be uh, mainly discussing about the local maximum and local minimum values of a function so we will start with the local maximum first so this is local maximum okay so like a function f x is said to attain a local maximum at x equals to a if there are exist a neighborhood which means neighborhood we can say uh, this is uh, a minus delta or a plus delta right so it means fx is less than f of a so this is for all x belongs to a minus delta and a plus of delta which is at x is equals to a 
means sorry is, is it not at x equals to a or we can say fx minus f of a is less than zero right so this will be also for x belongs to a minus delta and a plus delta so which is also at x is not equals to a in such case f a is called the local maximum right which is at x equals to a got it so you can first copy this Next is local minimum. Okay, so like here, a uh, function fx is said to be a local minimum or local maximum at x equals to a. Okay, so if there exists a neighborhood which is a minus delta, a plus delta which is uh, fx is greater than f of a for all uh, this x belongs to a minus delta and a plus delta which is x is not equals to a similarly fx minus f of a is greater than zero so it belongs to x belongs to a minus delta and a plus delta so here x is not equals to a so the value of function at x equals to a f is called the local minimum of a function fx equals to a right so now uh, if i draw a graph like a function is increasing then it's so it's decreasing then it's increasing then again it's decreasing and uh, so let this point be a this be b this be c this be d and this be e Okay, so here we can say like uh, the point at which a function attains either the local maximum values or the local minimum values are known as the extreme point or turning points and both the local maximum and the, both the local minimum values are called the extreme values of fx. Thus a uh, function attains and the extreme values at x equals to a if f is either a local maximum value or a local minimum value. So we can say like fx minus f of a keeps the same sign for all values of x in a deleted MBD of a. So we can figure out like we can observe that the x uh, coordinate at the points a, c, e are points of local maximum, right? At point a, c is the local maximum and uh, points uh, b, d will be the local minimum and their y coordinates are local minimum values of fx right so what we have concluded here, like uh, so we have concluded the maximum and the minimum points are also known as the extreme points 
similarly a function may have more than one maximum and minimum points and the next like a maximum value of a function fx in an interval like a to b is not a uh, necessary it's greater uh, greatest value in its interval similarly a minimum value not with the least value of function as a minimum value may be greater than some maximum value of a function okay so if a continuous function has only one maximum point then its point function as its greatest or the least value and the last like we can say monotonic function do not have the extreme points monotonic function do not have the extreme points which we have seen in the previous example i think okay there was uh, no maximum exist okay so you can copy this first Now uh, we will take one question. Okay, so here basically it's example, not the question. It's example. So like this is given. So it's a uh, equation y equals to x square. This is zero. Y can say x. And here it's one and here it's minus one. Okay, so fx is equals to x square and x belongs to minus one to one. So has a minimum point at x equals to zero because x equals to zero, the value of x square is zero. So which is less than all the values of foundation at different points of interval, right? So clearly uh, y is equals to x square is decreasing is decreasing in the interval in the interval minus 1 to 0 and increasing uh, increasing in interval increasing in interval 0 to 1 so we can say it has it has minima at x is equals to zero okay so it has minima at x equals to zero so copy this Now the next is a condition for maxima and minima. Okay, so next is condition for maxima and 
minimum. Okay, so like, what are the necessary uh, conditions? So we have uh, the following theorems which state uh, without proof. So like the theorem, theorem is unnecessary condition, unnecessary condition for FA to be to be an extreme value of function extreme value of a function fx is that f dash a is equals to zero okay so we can say like uh, if these are the given equation y is equals to x and here it's y is equals to minus x so this is the result it states that if the derivative uh, exists it must be zero at extreme point like a function may have a, attain an extreme uh, value at a point uh, without being a derivative treat okay so for example like the function fx is equals to mod x attains the minimum value at the origin even though it's not de uh, derivable at x equals to zero right similarly like this uh condition is only a necessary condition for the point x equals to a b an extreme point it is not sufficient that is f dash a is equals to zero doesn't necessarily imply that x equals to a is an extreme point so they are function for which the derivative vanish at a point but do not have an extreme values so for example, like fx is given, fx is x cube. So f dash zero is equals to zero, but at x equals to zero, the function doesn't attain the extreme values because the graph is like this. So this is for fx is equals to x cube. Okay. So now, uh, as we discussed in uh, this fx equals to x cube graph, so that's for all x for which fx is equals to zero, do not give us the extreme values. The value of x for which the fx uh, f dash x is equals to zero are called stationary or the critical values of x, and the corresponding values of fx are stationary or training values of x. So as we have seen. So f dash uh, a equals to zero is not the sufficient condition for x equals to a be the extreme point. So this is known as the first derivative test and it is stated without any proof, right? This is the first derivative test. Okay, so first you copy this.
okay so next thing is like uh, we will look at the sufficient conditions sufficient condition okay so like the first we will look at the first derivative test first derivative test so let fx uh, be a function differentiable at x equals to a so we can say uh, like x is equals to a is point of local maximum is point of local maximum of fx right so what are the conditions we required f dash a is equals to zero and f dash x charges sign from positive to negative positive to negative s passes f dash x is greater than zero at every point in the left okay means a minus delta a minus delta will be there and a will be only point so and similarly f dash s is less than zero at every point it means we can say a and a plus of delta right similarly if we talk about this uh the point which is uh, x is equals to a is the local minimum so it means f of f dash a is equals to zero and the second is like f dash x changes sign from negative to positive as f dash x is less than zero at every point in the left so we can say a minus delta and a of point a and if f dash x is greater than zero so a and a plus delta of a right so these are the points and uh, the next like if uh, f dash a is equals to zero but f dash x doesn't change the sign that is uh, f dash a has the same sign in the complete uh, nbd of uh, this a so then is then a is neither neither a point of local maximum nor point of local minimum okay so i think uh, you have done many things right so now uh, we will start in the next class okay so you can first copy this uh, given function uh, functions which we need in the questions part actually okay so thank you guys